Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is Unify port restrictions by MAC address, otherwise known as port filtering and or uh, MAC address filtering on your port. So um, one thing to note, and we'll get into it here, is I uh, this all came up. Uh, someone had called and we were talking about this. And they were like, yeah, try it on your UDR, try it on your UDM. So I looked at a UDR, a UDM, and a UDM Pro, and I'll show you the difference here. So real quick, what is uh, you know, port restrictions in Unify? It's, it's MAC address filtering. So what does that do? It looks at the MAC addresses connected to the physical port and says that these are the only MAC addresses allowed to transmit traffic on this port, essentially. It's a pretty high level generalization but that's that's what it's doing so when we go into my udr and we go into port manager and i'm just going to go into this port 4 you can see here that restricted is disabled it was like that on my udm and my udm pro so you'll have to let me know down in the comments if it's that way on the udm um, pro max the udm se and the unify dream wall because i don't have access to a dream wall or the the pro max so let me know down in the comments if you have those devices if the ports in the devices themselves if this restricted is not available so what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to my pro max switch go to port manager we'll select a port that's not in use we'll do uh, port 4 and you can see right here now we have the restricted option so if i select that what I've got to do is paste a MAC address in here. And if I apply this, then what's going to happen is only that MAC address is allowed to transmit data, uh, be connected to port 4. Um, yes, MAC addresses can be spoofed, but if you're looking for kind of a quick way to start, start tightening down the security on your ports, this would be a good way to do it. They call it restricted port. Uh, some places may call it, uh, you know, port security. Some of them may just call it MAC address filtering. You know, all of these vendors and their vernacular, it, it changes. But that's how you can do it. That's how you can start limiting and unify what devices can connect to what wired ports. Now, you can also do this with uh, Wi-Fi, with your SSIDs. Let me pull that up real quick. All right, so here is our Wi-Fi screen. I'm just going to go into my Wi-Fi 7 here. And down under the advanced um, section, we have MAC address filter. So we can do it. You can do it in an I list or you can do an allow list. So you could potentially add the MAC address of, if, if this was a switch port where your access point was connected, you could put the MAC address of the access point in there and then you could do an allow list you could also do a deny list so you could you know you're you're going to double up on that security on the port and on the access point and i know people are going to say well mac addresses can be spoofed and things like that yes they can but if you're in control of the network and in control of the stack it makes those things a little bit harder to do that throws a little inconvenience at it but um People wanted to know how to do this as a best practice, so I am I'm showing you. Um, let me just cover that one more time. So here it is on the Wi-Fi, and if we come over here to our uh, switch and we go into the port, port 4, you can see it is restricted. Remember that when I tried to do it on my UDR itself, the option was not available. I also, like I said, tested that on a UDM, a UDR, and a UDM Pro. So let me know about those other devices down in the comment. If you've got any questions about this, let me know. Other vendors um, have much more in-depth configuration available than this. So we could also try this and see if it disables the port. Um, 
in this iteration of Unify. I'm not sure if it does. If you've tried this and it disables the port, let me know down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link, and a link over to willyhow.com where if you need IT consulting, you can go fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, head on over to community.willyhow.com. Join us, share your expertise, or ask your questions. Either or, we'd love to have you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.